good morning today we are taking the third part of automatic generation control it is under the more fourth module of your syllabus in the last class we have discussed about the block diagram representation of a speed governor system so in that the response of a steam turbine uh, with respect to the changes in power output to changes in steam wall by represented by delta y that means uh, we, according to this changes in the power output there is a change in the opening of steam wall so steam wall is opened and more steam input is given so that response of the steam turbine that response is represented in our block diagram by delta y e so how we are representing that system with respect to the power output how the opening of this steam valve is represented that portion is taken in the last class we have discussed that so, so uh, now uh, we are representing that steam turbine that's two stage steam turbine with a reheat unit in this diagram there is a steam wall and uh, there is a high pressure and a low pressure stage and there is a reheater also so this is the steam turbine representation of a steam turbine the dynamic response largely influenced by two factors that is the uh, this response of the the uh, steam turbine is uh, is influenced by two factors one is the steam between the inlet steam valve and the first stage of the turbine and the storage action in the reheater which causes the output of the low pressure stage to lag behind that of the high pressure stage so these are the two factors which is affecting which is influencing the response of the steam turbine thus the turbine transfer function is characterized by two time constants are there for easy analysis it is assumed that turbine is modeled with a single equivalent time constant figure shows the transfer function model of a steam turbine so this is the star, uh, transfer function model for a steam turbine delta y e of s so delta y e of s representing the uh, opening for the steam valve that command is represented the opening for the steam valve so it is given to the steam turbine a earlier we have discussed about the speed governor system so from the power output it is taken so we, this is generator having a power output so according to this uh, power output it is taken to the speed governor system now this speed governor system is giving a command delta y e it is given to the steam turbine or it is opening the valve of the steam turbine now this block how we are representing this steam turbine block it is actually discussed here kt divided by 1 plus t t square and delta pt of s is the output of this steam turbine and the time constant uh, lies in the range of 0.2 to 2.5 second normally so actually we have we are having two blocks but uh, for our uh, analysis ease of analysis we are we are assuming only a single equivalent time constant now the next one is generator load model so first we have discussed about the uh, speed governor system and uh, in this previous section we have discussed about the uh, steam turbine system now we are discussing about the generator load model the increment in power input to the generator load system is represented as delta pg minus delta pd that means delta pd is the uh, uh, demand increase in demand and delta pg is the uh, delta pg equal to delta pc which is incremental turbine power output so uh, this is the uh, this difference is the increment in power input to generator system now this increment in power input to system is accounted in two ways one is rate of increase of stored kinetic energy in the generator rotor so at a, at a frequency f0 this is a scheduled frequency the stored kinetic energy at this frequency can be represented as h into pr where pr is the kilowatt rating of the turbo generator and h is the inertia constant we have discussed in uh, in uh, stability analysis inertia constant equal to what energy kinetic energy stored divided by rating of the machine 
So kinetic energy stored is equal to what? Inertia constant into rating of the machine. So inertia constant is H into rating of the machine is PR. So this is the kinetic energy stored in the system. Kinetic energy being proportional to square of the speed. Therefore at a speed at a frequency F0 plus delta F. The kinetic energy will be what? Uh, WKE at 0 into F0 plus delta F divided by F0 the whole square. Now, uh, this is uh, approximately taken like this. Mathematically, there is, uh, we can take like this F0 by F0 equal to 1 plus 2 into delta F divided by F0. Now, rate of change of kinetic energy is D by DT of WKE equal to, uh, we can differentiate this. Uh, so, HPR plus HPR into 2 delta F by F0. That HPR is a constant, therefore it will be 0 differentiating with respect to kinetic energy. The second term will be, oh, everything except this delta F is constant. So, only for that this differential term is coming. Now, this is the first factor and one more factor is, uh, as the frequency changes, motor load changes being sensitive to speed. Rate of change of load with respect to frequency, dou PD by dou F can be regarded as nearly constant for small changes in frequency delta F and can be represented as dou PD by dou F into delta F equal to B into delta F. So, these two factors are coming uh, in this, writing the power balance equation that is the changes in the power, the changes or the increment in power input to generator delta PG minus delta PD is influenced by two factors. First factor we have, uh, we have, we, we found like this 2HPR by F0 d by dt of delta F plus B into delta F. Now, dividing throughout PR, we will be getting per unit because this is an actual power unit and if it is divided by PR, it will be given you in power because PR is the uh, rating of the machine. So, we are, if you are uh, dividing it by the rating of the machine, you will be getting in the per unit value. So, uh, delta PG per unit minus delta PD per unit equal to 2H into this PR will be uh, cancelling. 2h by f0 d by dt into delta f plus b in per unit into delta f. Taking the Laplace transform, we can write delta f of s. We are taking the delta f of s uh, separately. So, in first we are uh, change, uh, taking the Laplace transform and uh, this is delta f. Delta f is having a Laplace transform of delta f of s. So, you will be getting like this delta pg of s minus delta pd of s divided by b plus 2h by f0 into s. Now, delta PG of S minus delta PC, PD of S into KPS by 1 plus DPS. We can write like this. This is what? Delta F of S. So, this is equal to actually delta F of S. So, we need this actually delta F of S. The changes in speed or changes in frequency it is making. In where the TPS is a power system time constant 2H by B of 0. KPS is power system gain 1 by B. Now, uh, this is the transfer function delta F of S. This is delta F of S is equal to, delta F of S is equal to what? Delta PG of S minus delta PD of S into KPS by 1 plus KPS. So, this can be represented like this, delta PG of S, this is delta PD of S into what? KPS by 1 plus KPS equal to delta F of S. So, uh, this is the block diagram representation of the generator load motor. Now, we are combining all these. Uh, now, first uh, we defined about the speed governor system where we are getting like this, we will be getting a, a block diagram like this and uh, uh, it is combined with uh, what uh, we have discussed uh, earlier, this delta ye of s is given to kt by 1 plus tt into s. Actually here, uh, this is kt by 1 plus tt into s, this is tt into s. So, do not make a confusion here, this is actually Tt into S, Kt divided by 1 plus Tt into S, 1 plus Tt into S. In your uh, PPT, I will be changing that. So, this is 1 plus Tt into S. So, first we have discussed about what speed governor system. In that, you can see this, you just check the this 1 by r is given to then the delta pc of s and uh, it is given to what ksg by 1 plus ksg into s and it uh, delta uh, delta by e of s is there and uh, uh, this is the turbine turbine system it is this y e of s is given to this this uh, delta y e of s is given to this turbine system and then it is given to what uh, this representation now this is the what generator load representation 
so this starting from this this part up to this this is the uh, speed governor system and this is what second one we have discussed about the turbine model and this part is what this third one generator load model so combining all this we will be getting the complete block diagram representation of load frequency control of an isolated power system so this is very very important load diagram representation of an isolated power system it will block diagram representation for the load frequency control of an isolated power system so if they are asked to ask a question from this you have to uh, discuss from the starting first uh, about the speed governor system second about the turbine now third about the generator load model then you have to draw this in the diagram so we'll be continuing in the next class